Uh, I'm Chip Kidd and I'm here at Aji Open in uh, late September 2013. The first job that I got was as assistant to the art director at Alfred A. Knopf Publishing. Um, I mean, it was much more of an entry-level job at the time. The pay was terrible, uh, but I was, I was doing some actual graphic design pretty early on, like within a couple of months. So that, to me, was pretty important. And, um, and, and I was lucky, and also uh, with book covers, it, uh, if your design gets approved, your name goes on it. So that was, even back then, I knew that that was very important. I thought, all right, I'll give this a shot and see how it goes, and it's been 27 years and counting. But I, I, I think the reason it's been 27 years and counting is because I work for um, Alfred A. Knopf Publishing in New York, which is part of Random House, now Penguin Random House, which is great. And um, uh, I love the books that I work on, and I love the writers, and, and it's a privilege to be able to uh, you know, represent their books. The important thing is that the writer be satisfied with what, whatever we end up with. And um, sometimes that's a very easy process, process and sometimes it's very uh, complicated. The covers of my own novels, um, for those, I, I, I did design them, but it was more about art directing them. Um, for the first one, which is The Cheese Monkeys, uh, my friend Chris Ware did the artwork and the lettering to my specification. For the second one, uh, The Learners, um, a, a wonderful artist named Charles Burns did the illustration and Chris Ware did the lettering. So it was, I put it together, but they actually did all the hard work. In my obituary, they, it'll say, you know, the illustrator and designer of the Jurassic Park logo. That's probably what it'll get summed up as. I was amazed that they used it completely. They didn't alter it at all, which, which I thought actually was great. At this point, I've designed covers for two Nobel laureates, probably a dozen Pulitzer Prize winners, like real serious writers. Um, but then I have the whole comic book side of my work, which is sort of what I talked about today, and that's a very sort of niche thing. This is Halloween 1968, West Lawn, Pennsylvania. That is me on the right. That is my brother on the left. He was two years older, so he always got to be Batman, and that's my mother in the middle. She was Bat-mom. So the Batman TV show had been on for about a year. We were obsessed with it. I never got over it. I've always been obsessed with Batman. At this point, I think I've published at least 10 to 12 Batman book projects. I think the obsession with Batman was being born at a certain time and place in the culture. The first book I did was um, called Batman Collected and it was a, a coffee table book about Batman toys from 1942 at that time up until 1996. And there was a section in Japanese stuff from the 60s, but I only thought it applied to toys. I didn't know there were actual comics, and I didn't find out there were actual comics for another four or five years. We compiled as many of these things as we could find. Japanese eBay is really, really hard to navigate. Um, anyway, we would eventually get a couple of, they, these came out one chapter a week for a year. They were never collected in Japan, much less translated and brought to the US. So, um, I made this one of my new missions. I've written a Batman graphic novel. That's a completely different thing. That's, and that, that's the most fun because you're, you're adding to the, the legacy of the character and, and it's a challenge because after 75 years, like what do you do that hasn't been done or that you feel like you haven't seen? It? What makes an effective book, book cover is really based on a book by book basis depending on what the book is, who the author is. Is it a sequel? Is it poetry? Is it a biography? There's lots of book designers, lots of people doing book design. And the, the, the kind of tricky thing about it is um, it's, it's creating a piece of art in service to another piece of art. I think it's important in terms of getting people to notice a book, to wonder about whether it's worth their time to read or not. You're just trying to create something that will give um, a unique 
hopefully interesting visual identity to a piece of writing.